Hello, everybody. This is my first attempt to broadcast the highest possible output that I ever have of hydrogen and oxygen in the smallest possible space. I hope that those ones that are willing to take the time and see this video will be capable to comprehend simple, basic knowledge. In the past, most of the people have been using what is known as a stainless steel. And a stainless steel does the job. But anybody that understands what is involved in the process comprehend that more surface contact means more hydrogen yield. Right here, I have a few samples of the material that I have been using for last year, and I can prove and assure everybody that this material used in the proper way will yield about 100% to 250% more than any flat metal plate. This is stainless steel wool. This material is capable to produce almost 500% more surface contact than any other material. Using a machine process and complex welding procedures, I have been capable to weld these special tabs at the ends of my steel, stainless steel wool. This is in order to make this, this for the connections. And right here I have a quick and simple experiment to show in which I have been using fiberglass as a separation membrane in between the anode and the cathode. And I will be showing an example of the of the amperage consumption as well as the yield. In that example, we will see a simple system is capable to produce over eight cubic liter of hydrogen in a very small space. But most people will require four and five of these specific containers. I can do it in two. And uh, through a simple system that I have developed, I have been capable to reduce it to one quarter of the size. So stay tuned, everybody. Thank you.